Hi everyone, my name is Noor Aladib. I'm the Vice President of University Affairs and Academics. Hi, I'm Nabeed. I am the Vice President External at UTMSU. And here we're going to be talking about the upcoming election that is super, super important for all of the youth to come out and vote. Um, but we just want to talk about some of the things that UTMSU has been working on to make sure that the elections and the voting process is as, is as accessible as possible to everybody. So this past summer, we actually made a request to the Dean to make um, accommodations for students that want to leave classes without penalties to uh, go vote. So what Dean uh, Amy Mullen did was she actually sent our request to the Vice Provost and from there the Vice Provost sent an email and a memo which I will be linking below for you folks to check out, um, sending it out to all the chairs, uh, faculty and staff to ensure that students are accommodated if they choose to leave class to vote. That means they will not be penalized um, being, you know, getting participation marks removed, if they have assignments due, maybe that they can um, submit it online or something in a different platform. Or it's literally, it, pretty much what we encourage you all to do is just go talk to your professor ahead of time if you plan on leaving class to go vote, because we really want as many uh, students as possible to go out on October 19th and vote. Um, so Navita's gonna talk about some of the really great things that UTMSU yep. is working on. For sure, so if you live on campus, you must be so excited because guess what? We do have an on-campus polling station on October 19th from 9 a.m. to 9 p.m. at uh, OPX. So make sure to go out and vote. It's the most convenient and most accessible for you if you're living on campus. Apart from that, we are also hosting an event on October 19th just for you. So we are we would be screening the whole elections results live. It's going to be live. <laughs> <Literally>. <laughs> and it's not only up. open for individuals that live on res. It's open for anybody. Yep. So the election screening is open for everybody. So make sure to come out to Blind Duck on October 19th about at 8 p.m. The when it actually gets heated up and you would see like <laughs> many parties like shouting and like trying to cheer uh, whoever they are voting for. So that's something that we are really excited for. Apart from that, uh, we are also setting up tables from now till October 19th almost every day to promote elections and uh, even uh, in enhance the registration, voter registration. So we would be going around with these and... Um, we would want you to write down why you are voting for in this elections, and we could definitely share not who you are voting for, but yeah. what what you want to see in the government coming up. Yeah, we we can definitely share it online. So the hashtags for you, some important hashtags that you can follow to know what's happening at U of T, what's happening across campuses for enhancing vote youth voter turnout. Uh, youth voter turnout, sorry, is hashtag U of T votes. Uh, that's, it's no secret. Yep, that's that. Uh, U of T votes is a tri campus one. So Scarborough, St George and Mississauga would be doing the same thing and the other one is hashtag it's no secret which is from the Canadian Federation of Students where you'll see what's happening on other uh, other campuses as well and raising yeah. awareness about the issues that we need to know about to make informed decisions on October 19th so we hope to see you all very very soon but if you have any questions comments or concerns please do not hesitate to come by the UTMSU office or email us at info at utmsu.ca and hopefully we'll see you folks then bye, bye. bye.